All right, so I don't normally do these unboxings, but I'm kind of excited about this one. This is the William Optics Zenith Star 61. Let's just take everything out of the box. We have the telescope, we have a field flattener, and an adapter for the Sony camera. So this is a 61 millimeter aperture or objective lens. So astronomy people talk about their telescopes in terms of the width of the objective lens and the focal ratio is 5.9. Whereas regular photographers talk about things in terms of their zoom range, the, the entire focal length. So this 5.9 times 61 millimeters, it's a 360 millimeter lens as far as the zoom. So it's a synthetic fluorite, it's a doublet, apochromatic. It's very nice. Super, super compact. This is essentially a dew shield that just slides out. If you're a photographer, you'd call that a lens hood, but this is a telescope. Um, out of the box, it's made for just observing. So it has just a one and a quarter inch opening for an eyepiece, but we're not into observing. With our puny little eyeballs, we are into photography. So I take this off. And we attach this field flattener. So this will flatten, flatten the field so that it's in focus across the entire flat sensor. And I swear the William Optics machining is perfectly precise. I mean, this feels just one with the telescope. Uh, it's adjustable. So once you have a camera on it, you can rotate the camera. So, you know, once it's on a mount, you have control over just the right ascension and declination, but the orientation is just whatever it is. So this allows you to uh, reorient the camera if you need to. And let's take this off also. And we can attach the camera adapter. Let's see. Take our camera. Not sure where the start is for this. Oh, good guess. There we go. <laughs> And there's the whole system. It's pretty nice. So this is pretty comparable to some of the lenses that I have. You know, I have a Sony 70 to 200 f 2.8. I could put a 1.4 teleconverter on that and be an f4. Um, so it's kind of similar to that. Uh, I also have the Sony uh, 2 to 600. It's much bigger actually. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, the William Optics is actually heavier than even this big lens. But super compact, totally travel friendly. I'm sure it will still work on the uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure. That's the whole point of not getting a much bigger telescope. Make it travel friendly and make it uh, be able to work on that mount without having to upgrade that yet. So why would I get a telescope when I already have lenses? Uh, I think the idea is just that this is more friendly to astrophotography. I'm going to want to get into using more filters. So I'm going to want a filter wheel or a filter drawer. There's no way to actually attach that in between the camera and a regular lens. Um, I'm going to also want to get a mono camera and use that with this and use some narrowband filters and use the RGB filters to get color images. And uh, that's just something you can't really do with a normal camera lens. Um, especially with the small flange distance on mirrorless camera lenses there's no room to actually attach other accessories and things in between the camera and the lens so that's the idea with this uh, another problem that i had was with my other system i didn't have a good place to mount the uh guide scope and of course now i do can just go right there and that looks like a proper system You know, so that's what I'm going to be using for now. Kind of using the Sony camera as a one shot color, which sounds kind of funny for a regular photographer because obviously regular photos are just one shot color. But once I get a mono camera and have to start using red, green, blue filters to get color images, 
then uh, that's what I'll do. I can use this for color. I can use like hydrogen alpha and oxygen and sulfur with the mono camera to get those. I may actually just do all, all of it, RGB and everything with it once I get used to that other camera. But that's the idea. I'm an upgrade to the system.